What's up guys? So in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a platformer game using a Pygame library in uh, Python. And uh, so yeah, in this game, it's basically going to be about this little square, or you can make it any image you like, but we're just going to use a square. Um, and it's going to have gravity, so if it jumps, it's going to come back down. And we're going to use some steps that it can jump onto um, using collisions. And we're going to... I think we can make like different levels so that when you reach the end of one level, you'll get to the end and you'll start a new level. So yeah, let's get started. So always we're going to need import pygame and import sys just for basic code and then pygame that initialize. There we go. And let's define our width and height of our screens. Let's say 800, 600, just the basic. And our screen will equal pygame display dot set mode let's say width height no I always forget about this but should be two parentheses and okay the title or the caption let's say pygame dot display dot set caption let's make it platform former game there we go now we have the clock pygame dot time dot clock there we go there we go. And this is just a basic code we need. We don't really need to get into it too much. Now, the colors that we're going to use. So let's just do colors. It's going to be white. And I'll capitalize for our constants. So let's say 255, 255, and 255. Then for black, the opposite. So 0, 0, 0. Then let's use blue for for character. It's going to be blue. So let's make it blue. So 50, 150, and 255. Then we're going to do green for the color of our the land or the obstacles, I guess you could say. So let's do green, so 50, 200, and probably about 50. And yeah, those are our colors. Now, let's get started with our player settings. So our player is going to be equal to our rect, so pygame.rect, say 50 by the height, minus 70, um, 50, 50. There we go. And then let's set the speed. Player speed. Is that equal to? Oh, speed equals to, let's say five. You guys can increase or decrease that depending on what you like. But yeah. And our velocity, we're going to need this for to apply our gravity. The velocity of the y axis, we're going to set it to zero for now. For now, because we're going to be um, flat, I guess, on the ground. But. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, also the gravity. The gravity is going to be, use the magnitude, so 0.5. Now, let's do jump strength. That's going to be also for the gravity that we're going to use, just to say for now, on ground equals false. For now. now, this next one is going to be our levels, and we're going to basically make like a, kind of like a, I guess list, big long list or grid, I guess you could say it's more of a grid. So levels equals this list. And in the first second part of the list, we're gonna add our first level. So it's basically just gonna be all of the platforms and where we want to place them. So yeah, so I'm actually gonna go ahead and do it off camera because it'll be pretty long code, but yeah, I'll be back. Okay, so I went ahead and did um, two levels just so that we can see um, how we can change the levels after we reach the end of the first level. But yeah, these are basically just all the blocks that we're going to place um, as obstacles for our character or that it can jump onto and, you know, whatnot. But, but yeah, that's our levels. And now, so um, so actually for the lists, um, our first level would actually be labeled as zero and our second level will be labeled as one because that's just how lists works in Python and most programming also. But so current level would be equal to zero because level one and platforms let's do platforms equals our levels and current level so these are the positions of where we want our platforms so every platform is going to spawn in as whatever level we choose um so yeah that's what that is and now we're going to do our player function so define player you gotta do something else. So move player, let's just say. And uh, let's use keys as one of our parameters. So let's say global 
velocity y and oh, level. There we go. Velocity y on ground, current level, and platforms. So that's just the variables we need for this. Um, I guess you could say function, or it is a function, but yeah. So, but now this is where it gets a little complicated. So our dx is going to be equal to our slope, or well, no, not our slope, but like kind of like our velocity that we're going to use for the gravity. So let's just say if keys i gain dot a, let's say left or or our key a. So if you're using WASD or if you're using the arrows, uh, oh wait, what is this? Oh, okay, key A, there we go. Then our dx is going to be equal to negative player speed. So our dx is just going to be invert the player speed, so we're going to the left. But now, I'll just copy this just because it's left to right. Let's do that. But now it would be right. I'll capitalize right. And then this would be D. And player speed would just be normal. Now this is where it gets a little tricky, but let's see. Let's see player dot x is gonna be plus or equal to our dx just in order to move our player. Then we're gonna say for each platform platform in our list of platforms we are going to check if the player collides with that platform. So we're going to say if player dot collide wrecked platform, oh, yeah, plat platform, then, so if it is colliding with the platform, then, mm, oh, okay. So let's, and we're also going to check if our DX is greater than zero. So if it's moving to the right, then we're going to say player dot right is going to be equal to platform dot left. So this is just basically making our player not be able to um, kind of go inside the platform or like glitch inside the platform. So yeah, but now we're going to say if dx is less than zero, then player dot left equals platform. Wait, this I'm wrong. Player, no, no, sorry, player dot right. Yeah, yeah, because um, if we're moving to the left. Then we must be colliding with our, the right side of the platform. So that's why these are two inverted. But yeah, okay, so that's that. Oh, that's that. And now we can go ahead and exit this for loop. Now let's make sure to make our level switch. So if player dot left, so if the left side of the player is greater than the width of our screen, then we are going to. Okay, so we're also going to check if we haven't reached the, the max amount of level. So we're going to say if current level is less than the length of all of the levels, minus one, of course, because we, unless we count zero and then one. Uh, so we're going to say minus, oh, uh, actually, let me do it like this. There we go. Then our current level is going to equal or equal one more. So if we're in level one, then we're going to be going to level two. And so on and so on until however many levels you want. Now we're also going to do platforms is equal to the levels current level. Yeah. So since the level's changing, then we also got to change our platforms that um, correspond with each level. Now, oh, okay. So let's also place our player at the start of the next level. Player that left is going to be equal to zero. So yeah. Now we're going to do elif. We also want to um, be able to go back a level. So if we go back, if we're in level two and we go all the way to the left, we're going to go back to level one and so on and so on. So let's say elif player dot right is less than zero. If current level is greater than zero, so if we're not at the first level, then our current level is going to go down one. So we're going to go down back to um, the last level and our platforms. We just gotta update that to be levels current level. There we go. Yeah, so just to go back to the left. Oh, I forgot. Also player dot right. We're gonna make it equal to I guess we can see our width since that's the very right of the screen, so let's just make it equal to our width. 
Okay, so that's that. Now, let's do. Oh, we gotta apply the gravity because we're in the move player function. So let's apply that. Let's do velocity y plus equals or gravity. Oh, did I spell that wrong? I think I spelled it wrong. Gra gravity. There we go. Gravity. Now, okay, so now we're gonna do our player dot y. It's gonna be plus equal or velocity y. There we go. That's just applying our gravity. And we're gonna say vertical. We need vertical collision. So if we bump up and hit one of our platforms, then we're gonna want to not glitch onto the platform, you know, not break the program. But so let's say on ground equals false. That's still it. So now let's say for each platform in platforms, we are going to check if we're hitting the bottom of that platform. So let's say if player that collide wrecked with platform and if velocity is greater than zero, wait, yeah, velocity, why? There we go. It's greater than zero. So for like jumping and we we're moving towards that platform then hmm, a player dot bottom let's set it equal to our player dot top so that it stops or, yeah stops going up and our player or, uh, let's do velocity y it's gonna be equal to zero so we're gonna stop moving and on ground it's gonna be equal to true then l if velocity y is uh, it's less than zero so if we're on top of the the block and we're jumping and we're falling back down onto the block this is what's going to happen our player dot top is going to be equal to our player dot bottom and our velocity y is also going to equal to zero just like in the last thing and that's it that's all we need there we go. Now exit the for loop. And do we need anything else? I don't, I don't think we need anything else to move the player. So we can exit that too. Now let's do our jump function. So def jump. So let's do global. Again, all these all of these uh, variables that we need. So if on ground, so if we are on the ground, then for velocity dot velocity y is gonna be equal to negative jump strength. Since in Python it's like um the higher you are on the screen, the less, I guess, you are in the variable number. So that's why we do um, negative for um, jumping up. Does that make sense? But yeah. Now that that's done, let's do what we got to draw in our, our um, it's called, what it's called um, our screen. So let's do def draw, I guess. Let's make it screen dot fill. Let's make it white so we can see good. Then let's draw our platforms. So for each platform in platforms. Oh, platforms. There we go. We are gonna draw each one of them in by pygame.draw.rect.screen, comma. This is the color, so we'll make it green, like we said, and then platform. Go. Uh, also, I'll draw player. We need to draw that. Don't forget the player. Uh, so yeah, pygame.draw.rect.screen. Let's make it blue, like we said, and then plat. Oh, wait, yeah, player. So this just assigns the rect that we chose back up there to that um, drawing. Now, oh yeah, we just need this. Something you always need, display dot flip. There we go. Something you need, and you know much. But now, we are going to make the loop that is going to run all of this constantly. So, let's say running equals true. And while, oh. So while running, so while that equals true, we are going to say for events in my game dot event dot get. This is just to make sure to exit the game dot type equals pygame game dot quit. Then running equals false. And if event, well, yeah. This is just what you need to uh, make sure you exit the program safely when you want to. And yeah. So if event time. 
Okay, we're gonna say if event dot type <coughs> equals by game dot <coughs> key key down. We are going to say if event dot key. So if this key is equal to by game dot k. Let's make it up. Or I guess you could say just copy this and say or then key is equal to w. Then we're going to call our jump function. Now we can exit this all this for event and all that nonsense. We can say keys equals pi game dot key dot get pressed. And we can call our move player function. So let's just say with our parameter keys that is defined up here. And then we're gonna draw everything in. And I think that's it. So as you notice, we mostly did all the heavy work up here in all of our functions, as opposed to um, making a huge mess down here in the main um, kind of loop. But yeah, so draw, what else do we need? Oh, we need our clock, dot tick. Let's make it 60, these are the frames. Uh, and yeah, so we wanna make sure when this exits, we're gonna call our pygame.quit and say system.exit. And I think that's it, there's no syntax errors, so that's good. But let me check. Whoa, what's going on here? I think we set one of the variables. Okay, let me see. Okay, so I went over and I uh, found where we made the error. So this makes zero sense, I realize now, so this should actually be platform. Platform, there we go. And this should also be platform top bottom so yeah it makes much more sense now but um let's see there we go so if we jump up we're not going to bug into it we can jump on top we can hit the side everything's okay and next level there we go it's pretty good and yeah that's that's about it you guys can actually um make these obstacles but make them as like spikes or whatever and if you hit them then you can just reset the player position to the bottom i don't have enough time right now but i'm just giving you guys ideas that you can do um also you can change this cube to have like any image you'd want and you can actually make it so that if you press the left key it's a different image so if it's like a running image if it's the right key it's like another running image if you're jumping it's a different image and if you're standing still it's a different image so it's very personalizable uh i just don't have time right now i really wish i did but um yeah you guys can put images as a background do everything i mean this is pretty fun i think and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed um I'll make sure to like subscribe and uh, comment and see you guys in the next one Thank you.